In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the AI copywriting software, Write Cream. I'm going to show you how to get started and show you exactly how you're charged. So if you're using the free account, you can make the best use of the credits that you were given. We're going to talk about the dashboard and the recent activity feature. We're going to look at the tools that are on offer and give you just a general overview of those and then talk about a few points that make Write Cream different and we'll finish off with the pricing. So, what we said we start with is how you are charged and getting started. So when you go over to the website, you are able to sign up and they will actually give you some free credit. Somewhere around this screen now, there's going to be a link to a video where you can learn how to earn more credits on Write Cream. And you can watch that after the video or there'll be a link down in the description. But what you'll notice is I've got a credit balance here of 40. If you've got the free plan, you're going to get a credit balance of 20 credits each month. And I'll show you how they're used up in a second. But basically on the dashboard here, we've got all these different options of different things that you can, uh, different tools that you can use in order to produce your content. We've got the dashboard, which I'm on now. We do have the create copy button, which takes us back to the dashboard. So I'm not really sure what the difference is between these two buttons at the moment, but at some point we'll probably learn if you want to produce long form content then you can go into the long form editor we are going to be bringing a video out shortly on this particular tool so i'm not going to go into it now but if you want to learn more hit subscribe and press that bell notification button and when that uh, video goes live and gets released you'll be able to watch it the other nice feature that this has which not all of the ai copywriting softwares have is a recent activity button now this is a new account so i don't have anything in here but if i created account uh, sorry if i created content already that would be saved in here so if for some reason uh, your computer runs out of battery suddenly or you need to log off quickly and come back or maybe you want to come back to a, a project that you did a few days ago you'll be able to find it in this tab which is a really really useful um, option to have in this kind of software so if i go back to the dashboard you can see that i've got a list here of all the different tools that um, i've got options to use within write cream but then we can also separate these out so we've got email copywriting social media and seo all these green buttons here will take us through to the different tools that we want to use so for example let's just go for the first one here which is blog ideas i click on that and then I just need to fill out this information. Now, this is the button you need to pay attention to, this generate button, because every time you hit that button, you are going to be charged one credit. And on the free account, you've only got 20 credits a month, which means that you need to be careful and make sure you're not hitting that button before you are ready. So that's just something to be aware of. But I'm going to go ahead and fill this out now, and then we'll see what is created in terms of blog ideas for us within Write Cream. So as you can see here, I've started to fill out the blog ideas tool. I put in my product or brand name. I'm going to be writing about the Venice Mountain Dog, and I've started to fill out my product description. Now you need to make sure you put enough characters in. So as you can see here, they're not happy with how much I've written so far. And what I need to do is I need to put enough information here so we get to green. Obviously, the more you can give uh, the tool, the better job it's going to do for you. But this is my blog that I want to write about. Um, and I want to do an article focusing on family and if it's a good dog to have around children. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the generate button. And as I said, that is going to cost me one credit. But what it has done is it's produced a huge number of outputs for me. So here are all the different blog ideas that it has given me. Now, what I can do is there's no reason why I can't take a couple of these ideas and use them for this blog that I want to write about the Venice Mountain Dog and how it's a good family dog. But they also might give me ideas for others. So, for example, I quite like the second one here. Seven tips for interacting with kids and the Venice Mountain Dog. How to raise the dog in a family. That's quite a nice one. Now, the accuracy of this tool it doesn't look like it's spot on um, at the moment. 
we've got pros and cons for owning but again this might actually be a nice idea for me to use in the future so i still might take it across and keep it again this one looks like quite a nice one for my title but i can just go through we've got one here about training the dog i might take that title and save it somewhere else just for an idea okay so there are a few good options if i don't like any of these options i can hit the generate button again but that's going to cost me a credit what probably will improve my output if I, is if i put some more information at the top here because i'll be able to give the uh, ai a little bit more information about what i want and therefore it's going to be able to do a better job but let's say i like this second option seven tips that's what i'm going to create all i need to do here is click to copy and then I can go over into my document. So here I've just got a uh, Google Docs open. And there I've got my first blog idea. Then I can go back to the tool and I can start using the different options within the dashboard to keep building out my articles. So I might find something under the copyright tab that uh, interests me, or it might be something under the SEO tab that would be able to uh, use. So maybe I've got some headings and I can use the blog expander or blog conclusion or write an intro to this blog now that I've got this first bit here, which is my idea. So I can use a collection of these different tools. Just remembering each time I hit the button, I'm getting charged that one credit. And as I said before, if I want to go back to anything, I've got my recent activity, which I can go back to, and these are the options. Uh, I've got the information there of what I had previously. You'll also notice that you can rate how good the outputs are, so that the AI is always learning and always improving. And we've got the copy buttons again here, which means that we can copy the information and use it again. So. We talked about what the right cream does and what makes it different. We've given you an overview of the tools and how you can use it, as well as talking about how your credits are used up. So the last thing I want to show you is the pricing. So right now I've just been in the free account and you can see that we've got about 20 credits, which equals about 40,000 characters. There is a video that we have that explains the difference. Um, there'll probably be a card that pops up now that you should be able to see somewhere around the video that you can click on in order to learn about that, or there'll be a link in the description to understand the difference between these credits and characters idea. And you can see roughly how much you're going to be able to produce when it comes to using the free software. So two long articles is all you're going to get, which means that if you want to write more than that, you might want to upgrade. At the end of this video, I'll show you another software that will allow you to produce articles and get free credits, which if you're only producing maybe four articles a month, you can combine with this software. But if you want to get the unlimited version, it's on limited offer at the moment at $29 a month, and you get unlimited words, unlimited blog posts, podcasts, um, everything included. So uh, considering that's a lot less um, and the standard still has limits on credits. This is definitely something worth considering picking up if the free plan is not enough for you. So that's us covering everything we said we would talk about in this video. We are going to be producing a video soon in order to show you how to produce that long article. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and you'll be notified when that video goes live and you'll be able to watch it. All there is therefore left for me to say is see you in the next one. Before I go, if you are interested in being able to produce a thousand word article in under three minutes using a slightly different piece of AI copywriting software, then you can click on this video that's popped up just now and check out exactly how you can do that. See you in the next one.